So the, the price of like of lithium and like all the raw materials and the, the battery cells went went crazy. It doubled. Um, like the, the price of cells doubled. Um, price of lithium I think went up at almost like like five five fold or like. 500%, like we're in a crazy numbers. That's exactly what Elon Musk said when talking about lithium batteries, the type that's still considered the gold standard for electric cars by most EV automakers today. Elon Musk stated that Tesla will soon switch to a new battery technology by 2026 to completely replace lithium as it's becoming increasingly inaccessible to Tesla. While the rest of the industry continues to struggle with rising lithium costs and the limitations of lithium batteries, Tesla has been quietly perfecting aluminum ion batteries, a battery type that could be mass deployed at scale by 2026 and even used in Tesla's most affordable EVs. What excites us about this battery is that it has significantly higher energy density than current lithium batteries, while also lasting three times longer, up to 30 years for a single EV battery pack. So, why did Tesla choose aluminum ion batteries and what are the downsides of this technology? Right now, you're about to discover exactly how Tesla's aluminum ion battery breakthrough is bringing the lithium era to a permanent close. Welcome to Tesla Car World. How will Tesla's aluminum ion batteries end lithium batteries? You might not know this, but even the 4680 battery that Tesla is currently producing still contains lithium and even nickel and cobalt. These are all very expensive materials, and even Elon Musk has admitted that the current 4680 battery is still more costly than those from other suppliers. To cost parity. Currently, our 4680s are, uh, cost more than our suppliers. Yeah, that's why up to now, the 4680 battery has only been used in the Cybertruck, a high-end pickup truck. In our opinion, a good battery that's only used in an expensive vehicle is a major letdown. It would be much better if Tesla used the 4680 battery in the Model 3, Model Y, and other EVs as well. But with such high costs, that just doesn't seem possible. Most Tesla batteries today rely on lithium, which is why Tesla hasn't been able to roll out cheaper EVs. Even their goal of launching a $25,000 compact car has taken over four years and still hasn't happened. That's where Tesla's aluminum ion battery cells come in. They're a total game changer, phasing out lithium batteries in three brutal ways that'll make you rethink everything you thought you knew about EV tech. First off, just looking at basic chemistry, lithium doesn't hold a candle to aluminum. In terms of charge density per ion, aluminum ions are way ahead because each one can carry three times the charge of a lithium ion. In theory, this lets aluminum batteries store more energy in the same space, which is a pretty exciting prospect. Have you ever wondered why EV batteries or electronic device batteries are so prone to short-circuiting and even catching fire or exploding? It's no coincidence they're almost always lithium batteries. What you might not know is that one of the most dangerous issues with lithium batteries is the formation of dendrites. To put it simply, dendrites are tiny, needle-like metal crystals that can grow during charging. These sharp structures can pierce through the separator between the batteries, two electrodes causing short circuits, fires, or even total system failure. Dendrites are especially dangerous in lithium metal batteries or when fast charging is involved. They're the reason Tesla and other manufacturers have had to invest heavily in control measures, such as redesigning separators or implementing advanced battery management systems. And all of this just drives the cost of lithium batteries even higher. The moment Tesla's aluminum ion battery was revealed, safety and durability were the first things that came to our minds. Based on what we've researched, aluminum ions when operating in certain electrolytes, especially liquid electrolytes similar to those used in lithium batteries, almost never form dendrites. Studies from Stanford and other laboratories have shown that aluminum batteries can go through tens of thousands of charge-discharge cycles without forming dendrites. This is thanks to the more uniform and stable release of aluminum ions, which is significantly better than lithium ions. Fires caused by lithium batteries in EVs have always been a major concern for customers. As you probably know, the smoke released from burning lithium is highly toxic and extremely difficult to extinguish. Despite years of development and improvement, safety advancements have been marginal at best. Of course, this isn't the only reason Tesla is pursuing aluminum ion batteries. As Elon Musk has pointed out, the bigger issue lies in the skyrocketing cost of lithium and lithium-based batteries. This price surge 
is largely due to overwhelming demand and limited supply, which clearly indicates that lithium is being overexploited and is becoming increasingly scarce. Challenge uh, on that front, then there may be a shortage of lithium. Before we talk about the abundance of aluminum and how that could allow Tesla to achieve ultra-low costs per aluminum ion battery cell, we first need to understand just how serious the lithium shortage really is. As of now, the total global lithium reserves stand at around 89 million tons. In contrast, aluminum reserves are vastly greater 1.59 billion tons, which means aluminum is nearly 18 times more abundant than lithium. The geographic concentration of lithium makes things even worse. Most of the world's lithium is confined to just four countries. China holds the second largest lithium reserves, accounting for about 16.5% of the global total. The rest is mainly concentrated in the so-called Lithium Triangle Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina. On the other hand, aluminum is the most abundant metal in Earth's crust, making up about 8.13% of its total weight. Bauxite, the ore used to produce aluminum, is widely distributed across dozens of countries, making aluminum much more accessible and less vulnerable to geopolitical risks or supply chain disruptions. Okay, let's dive deeper into aluminum ion batteries. In an aluminum ion battery, the anode is made from pure aluminum metal, which serves as the source of aluminum ions during discharge. On the flip side, the cathode is where aluminum ions are stored during charging and then released back when the battery is in use. Common cathode materials for aluminum ion batteries include graphite and other layered conductive materials, which are ideal for absorbing and holding aluminum ions effectively. Connecting the anode and cathode is the electrolyte, a liquid or gel-like solution that allows aluminum ions to move freely between the two electrodes. This flow is what enables smooth, stable, and safe charge, discharge cycles. What's striking about aluminum ion batteries is that they don't require any expensive materials. No lithium, no cobalt, no nickel, just aluminum, graphite, and a suitable electrolyte. Tesla plans to manufacture this battery entirely in the U.S. at a newly expanded facility adjacent to Giga, Nevada. The production line is expected to begin operation by the end of this year, once all equipment has been fully installed and calibrated. Lithium prices have been highly volatile over the past two years, sometimes dropping, but more often surging. As Elon Musk once pointed out, lithium prices have spiked by as much as 500%. In 2024, the average price of lithium carbonate was around $8,000 per ton, and by February of this year, it had climbed to $9,271 per ton. And that's not the whole picture. In addition to lithium, most lithium-based batteries also require cobalt and nickel, two other materials that are even more expensive than lithium in many cases. This is one of the key reasons why EV battery prices have remained high and why affordable electric vehicles are still financially out of reach for the average consumer. Of course, cost is only one part of the equation. The other equally important factor is performance. It's no accident that lithium batteries have been considered the gold standard for decades. Despite their safety concerns, lithium batteries have proven themselves with consistent, reliable performance, which is why they've remained dominant for so long. Why will aluminum ion batteries surpass the performance of lithium ion batteries? When Elon Musk decides to invest in a new type of battery, cost is a top priority. But clearly, it's not the only consideration. Aluminum ion batteries also have to meet performance standards under real-world testing. And as we mentioned earlier, aluminum ion batteries have an advantage when it comes to basic chemical properties. Aluminum ions carry a plus three charge, while lithium ions carry a plus one charge. This means that in theory, aluminum ion batteries can store more energy in the same amount of material compared to lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion batteries have been stuck at a theoretical maximum energy density of 250 watt hours per kilogram for decades. But Tesla's breakthrough with aluminum ion batteries has shattered that limit, reportedly achieving over 600 watt hours per kilogram in real world test results. To put that into perspective, the current Tesla Model Y long range RWD has a driving range of 357 miles using a 75 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack. If that same battery pack were replaced with aluminum ion tech while keeping the same size, 
the Model Y could potentially reach a range of over 1,000 miles on a single charge. Sounds unbelievable, right? A 1,000-mile range might seem like an exaggerated scenario, but it's something that could very well happen soon. The reason is simple. When a high-energy density battery is used in an electric vehicle, the higher the energy density, the lower the overall weight of the battery. And with less weight, the car benefits from better aerodynamics. About lifespan, while lithium-ion batteries typically last around 2,000 charge cycles before dropping to 80% capacity roughly 3 to 5 years of daily use, several non-Tesla research reports have shown that aluminum-ion batteries can reach up to 10,000 cycles. That means they could last up to 30 years with proper vehicle maintenance. As we all know, aluminum is a highly durable material. Most modern car frames are made of aluminum. It's also chemically more stable than lithium. Unlike lithium, which reacts easily with oxygen and water, aluminum forms a natural oxide layer when exposed to the environment. This protective layer prevents corrosion and degradation of the anode material. And, as we've also pointed out, dendrite formation. A major issue in lithium-ion batteries is nearly non-existent in aluminum-ion batteries. This alone significantly reduces electrode degradation across thousands of charge-discharge cycles. Over the years, lithium battery technology has made notable progress in charging speed from taking several hours to now reaching 80% in just 25 to 35 minutes. However, that still doesn't come close to the breakthrough speed offered by aluminum-ion technology. With aluminum-ion batteries, you can fully charge the battery in just 15 minutes without running into thermal issues, which remain a major drawback of lithium. The science behind this is truly impressive. Aluminum ions travel through the electrolyte up to three times faster than lithium ions, and their thermal management capability is far superior. This effectively eliminates the heat-related issues that complicate lithium charging. Charging your EV could soon take no longer than enjoying a cup of coffee thanks to aluminum ion batteries. Currently, producing lithium costs between $55 and $100 per kilowatt hour, while aluminum production only costs around $15 to $25 per kilowatt hour using standard aluminum processing techniques. Aluminum itself is about 1 50th the price of lithium per unit, and the manufacturing complexity is significantly reduced thanks to the already well-established global infrastructure for aluminum processing. To put it simply, a 63 kilowatt hour battery pack for a Tesla Model 3 currently costs around $6,300 to $6,500, but with aluminum ion batteries, that cost could drop to just around $2,000. This single change, alone, dramatically reduces the total production cost of an electric vehicle. Another major advantage is the recyclability of aluminum ion batteries. As one of the most abundant materials on Earth, widespread adoption of aluminum ion batteries could help address the environmental challenges related to rare earth metal mining and battery recycling. Researchers have found they can recover up to 80% of aluminum fluoride salts in lab experiments, and they anticipate much higher recovery rates at industrial scale. The solid aluminum foils can also be reused after simple surface cleaning, making the entire design well-suited for efficient component recycling. While aluminum ion batteries are promising and have the potential to revolutionize not only Tesla, but the entire EV industry, it's important to acknowledge that every new technology comes with challenges and drawbacks, and these take time to overcome. One of the major hurdles aluminum ion batteries still face is lower output voltage, compared to current lithium-ion batteries. Specifically, today's aluminum-ion cells produce around 2.65 volts, whereas lithium-ion cells can reach around 4 volts. Although aluminum-ion batteries are highly promising and have the potential to revolutionize not only Tesla, but the entire electric vehicle industry, the undeniable reality is that any new technology comes with challenges and drawbacks, and these take time to resolve. Aluminum ion batteries still face several key obstacles that hinder their widespread adoption in real world applications. One of the most significant challenges is their lower output voltage compared to today's lithium ion batteries. Specifically, 
current aluminum ion batteries generate around 2.65 volts, whereas lithium ion batteries can reach up to about 4 volts. This voltage difference can have a major impact on the performance of applications that require high voltage, such as electric vehicles and large scale energy systems. Lower voltage may reduce the suitability of aluminum ion batteries for devices or vehicles that demand strong and stable power output, limiting their usability in today's industrial sectors. Innovating energy storage technology is crucial for a more energy efficient and sustainable future. As the world shifts toward clean energy, the demand for safer, longer lasting, and more cost effective batteries is growing rapidly. Aluminum ion batteries stand out as a promising solution offering much faster charging and significantly better capacity retention compared to traditional lithium-ion technology. These batteries can potentially recharge fully in just 15 minutes, endure up to 30 years of use, and deliver a driving range of up to 1,000 miles per charge, all without the fire risks commonly associated with lithium. Their environmental and economic advantages are just as compelling. Aluminum is far more abundant, affordable, and easier to refine than lithium, making the production process less harmful and more scalable. This is the kind of disruptive potential Elon Musk hinted at when he said everything would blow up next year, not in a literal sense, but as a massive leap forward that could redefine not only Tesla, but the entire battery and EV industry. What do you think about aluminum ion battery? Drop a comment below. We hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.